My name is Bill Casing. I'm a writer. I've been very interested in the Apollo project from the beginning, especially when I suspected that it was all a big hoax. Now, how did I happen to write a book? Well, that started because I was living on my boat in Oakland and we had a bunch of homeless Vietnam veterans staying with us. One of the men was John Grant, who, when he was in Vietnam, became hooked on heroin. But beyond that, he had a tremendous animosity towards the U.S. government for what it had done to thousands of men, killed them, wounded them, changed their lives, made them drug addicts. John was an angry man, <clears throat> and he said to me one night, he said, Bill, why don't you expose the government? Reveal it for what it is. Why don't you say something outrageous like, we never went to the moon? And I said, hey, that's a great idea. Why don't we just do that? We'll spoof the government. We'll get even with them. I found in many instances that Rocketdyne did not tell the truth about various basic um, uh, facts. For example, I worked for a while on a rocket engine test seal, and all of the information about this seal was misrepresented. Well, I decided I didn't want to be a part of it, so I wrote the true story about this seal, and I submitted it to the Air Force. Well, believe me, the material hit the fan, and I was called on the carpet and told, don't submit material without checking with your superiors. And I said, well, <clears throat> this was the absolute truth and I wanted the truth to go through. Well, uh, nothing came of it as far as I was concerned, but I learned that large companies have no scruples whatsoever about lying uh, regarding important data. And I would say that maybe that was the genesis of my suspicions about Apollo. But I had a number of other incidents occur that uh, told me that uh, big companies uh, uh, say what they want and not necessarily what is true. I worked for Rocketdyne from 1957 to 1963, February 57 to June 1963. So the period of time, 57 to 63, encompasses uh, Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and especially uh, what I worked on a lot was Atlas. So I'm very familiar with, uh, with uh, high-powered uh, liquid propellant uh, rocket engines. But uh, as head of the research department at the Santa Susana Research uh, Facility Laboratory, a 1,200-acre facility above the San Fernando Valley, uh, I had a, a gray badge and I had a Q clearance. Well, with those two items, I could go anywhere in the base and talk to anybody about anything. I had total freedom and liberty. And as a result, I learned a lot about the company and about what they were doing that very few other people had the opportunity of learning. And that's why when this when this challenge came up from John Grant to blow the whistle on the government, I thought, well, I've been chosen. This is, a, this is an assignment for me in my life. And <clears throat> so I've been working on it for the last 21 years. And as I've said uh, several times on the air that I intend to work on it uh, until I'm successful or die in the attempt.